Welcome to the first Mountain Unicycling Network featured unicyclist interview. Today, we have a special guest, Zach Wells, from Canada joining us today. So let's listen to his incredible journey. So when I was 10 years old, I was given a Christmas gift from my dad of a unicycle. And needless to say, it kind of stuck. Um, I had a natural like ability to unicycle, weirdly enough. It didn't take long to learn. I was actually entertaining at birthday parties at a young age as well, and, and different things and fun fairs. And then uh, over the years, I uh, had different unicycles. So it's uh, become very much a part of my life. I do go a little bit on the trails and stuff like that. So like with the size of wheel that I keep uh, at 29, it's kind of like a happy medium for me. Nothing too crazy in that sense. But I've gone over a few logs and I've gone over a few like bigger things, like when riding like rocks and things. And it's, uh, it's definitely something that I'm not afraid of, so to speak. <laughs> My full-time job is with Via Rail Canada on the train. I actually also do magic balloons and juggling in addition to my actual job of a service attendant. In 2017, I was asked by the company to be part of a Make-A-Wish uh, trip with a young girl who was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. She created a hashtag uh, called Becca Told Me To, and it was an act of kindness movement. I was sent there as like a VIA ambassador to be with her and her family and entertain all the passengers and say, this is the person we have on board, this is their story. Oh, and here's a few magic tricks and, and, and balloons and stuff for everybody. A couple months later, I stumbled upon this thing called the Great Cycles Challenge. This was an event that lasted a whole month and it allowed people to ride as much as they can, when they can, set their goals for fundraising, set their goals for riding. So I'm gonna participate, why? Because hashtag Becca told me to. And she was able to watch a few of the live videos that I was doing when I was out riding in 2017 during the first year that I participated. And unfortunately, in 2018, she did pass away in February uh, at 18 years old. So I continued to do the riding in her name. Uh, I chose to make the 2019 trip a little bit different than I had the first two years. And I took the train from Toronto all the way out to New Brunswick. And my first ride was in the hometown that Rebecca grew up in, in Riverview, New Brunswick. So I got to see her mom and dad again. I got to ride again at her hometown. So that was a nice way of tying everything together in terms of how I got involved with, uh, with the kids and the Great Cycle Challenge. So in 2019, I said, okay, I'm gonna raise $5,000 and I'm gonna ride 500 kilometers. I ended up doing 686 and raising $10,236. It just kept getting better and better. So last year, 2020, um, I decided I'm gonna leave my goal at 500 kilometers because that was what it was the previous year. But with being laid off from work, I had all this time to ride and I finished the 500 kilometers in the first 10 days of the month. And then just to finish where we are now, uh, this year I have set a goal of $10,000. So I've continued riding since every single month through the Canadian winter that we have here, which has been very interesting and very fun. At the end of the day, like I do it for myself, yes, but it also brings a great deal of happiness to people when they see it. It's uh, something that I, grown to love since 23, almost 23 years now. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Mountain Unicycling Network International Unicyclist Interview with Zach Wells. Share stories with us and send them our way at mountainunicyclingnetwork at gmail.com or send us a message on Facebook. Thank you so much for tuning in.